Hello students, how are you guys today? I'm excited to share this tutorial. We are going to break, so break sound, break down <laughs> some of the different pole grips today. Um, this is definitely foundational knowledge for beginners, um, intermediates, and advanced alike, okay? Um, we find ourselves in different grips in all different level of pole moves. I don't necessarily encourage you to memorize the names of these, but definitely it's helpful to understand the mechanics of them so that when we find ourselves in these different grips, upside down, twisted, that we can turn on our brain to, oh, in this grip, I'm supposed to push through my shoulder or I'm supposed to wrap my thumb and pointer finger, all right? Um, and then definitely teachers, it's good to kind of explain um, these different mechanics to your students. There are many, many, many different grips on the pole. We are only going to cover six. So don't walk away from here thinking that there's only six different grips on the pole. That's what we're going to start with. We'll call this installment number one about grips. So first, we're going to talk about the baseball grip. The baseball grip is, I assume it's called the baseball grip, because when you grab a baseball bat, you have your thumb on one side and you have your fingers wrapped on the other side like this. Well, maybe not quite like that, but something like that. <laughs> All right, we're not gonna grab a baseball bat like this. So we have thumb on one side, fingers on the other. This is our baseball grip. Baseball grip can be here. It can be here. All right, there's lots of different ways that our hands can be placed on the pole, but the most important thing, thumbs, thumb on one side, fingers on the other. One thing that I don't hear talked about a lot is for this grip, it's important to have a grip between your thumb and your pointer finger. So what I often do with people that are learning, and I even learned this like halfway through my journey, grip with those first and then grip the other fingers. Oftentimes when we grip in the baseball grip, we'll squeeze a lot with these three fingers and then our thumb and pointer finger up here kind of get lazy and really squeezing them around the pole can help you a lot. So let's just cover some different types of spins, uh, moves that require the baseball grip. We have the classic fireman, okay? Fingers and thumb, fingers and thumb, and fireman, okay? We have the invert. Hands are placed differently, but still same grip, right? We have front hook, back hook. Okay. So, baseball grip. Number two, I have my little cheat sheet. The forearm grip. So we typically see this in a climb, for example. I have a whole breakdown of the forearm climb, so we're not gonna go super deep, super deep here, but main purpose of this is we can have our forearm on the pole and it cannot be helping us. We need to not only push into the pole with our forearm, but also push through our shoulder, okay? So it's not only pushing here, it's pushing here. Yes, so when we climb, for example, I'm always keeping this push away, tucked, squeeze. My forearm is pushing, my top arm is pulling. Now my right forearm's on the pole as I push through my shoulder, tuck your hips, and you have your second climb, okay? So again, forearm, push. Other things that you may see with the form, just some classic spins, right? So maybe top hand, baseball grip, bottom arm, forearm grip. I can use it as a pretty way to elevate myself for spins. It's also very commonly seen in the side climb. All right. To take this up a level, for those of you that are intermediate advanced, 
Um, it's seen in, let's say, forearm butterfly, right? Invert. Top hand is pulling a little bit of a bend. Bottom arm is pushing through my shoulder and I have my butterfly. Okay. This concept also applies to when your form's on the floor, right? So anytime you're doing any type of form stand, you're again pushing through your shoulder. All right, so I'm not sunk like this. I am pushing shoulders up to ears. All right, next, half bracket. So half bracket is kind of like a specific uh, grip kind of under baseball. So in half bracket, we have both of our hands in baseball grip, but half bracket specifically means one arm is up high. The other hand is pushing in front of our abdomen area. Full bracket is this. So we have half, we have full. Let's talk about half bracket first. The most important thing about half bracket is Top arm, especially in spins, is pulling down, okay? Not down and back, just down. Your half bracket arm is pushing. So this is my bracket. I have a strong push and pull, right? Lots of different climbs. We have chair spin, sorry, different spins. Chair spin, you have front hook. Maybe you have sun wheel. Okay. Lots. Many spins you can do with half brackets. All right, what is next? Full bracket. So this one's also called split grip. Full bracket, again, top hand is in our baseball grip. Bottom hand, we have pointer finger facing down for many, many people. I've only heard a few, select few people that didn't like this finger pointing down, but I find it can really help a lot. It keeps our wrist in a nice uh, square position in line. If our hand down here is wrapped and we're pushing, sometimes it can make my wrist do this or this, okay? So the pointer finger down just adds another point of contact for you to push into. It's actually quite strong, <laughs> yes? So from uh, taking first like spins, for example, a lot of spins that we do with half bracket, we can do, do with full bracket, such as chair. Okay, you'll often see boomerang with this one. With boomerang, we like to bend this arm a little bit to give ourselves a little bit of a, a shelf for our stomach, and then pull down with your top hand, lift the legs, okay? If you have hyperextended elbows, I do not but I still don't let this happen. I'm never just pushing my arm as straight as possible. I'm always making sure I'm not locked out. I have a little bit of bend. What that does is it protects the elbow and it makes sure that your bicep can help you in this move. If your arm is completely locked out, I have no ability to squeeze my bicep. When I have a little bend, I can uh, fire up both my bicep and my tricep. Okay, we also see split grip in handspring, Aisha, right? Point your finger facing down, top hand is baseball, we have butterfly, Aisha, cradle, apprentice. Yes, all of these, I have my top arm pulling, bottom arm pushing, 
Same thing, shoulder down away from ear. All right, cup grip. I love this grip. It was the most scary when I was, the scariest when I was learning, and now it's my favorite. So cup grip, you can imagine like you're trying to catch water in your hands and you're trying to make cups. Okay, what does this look like on the pole? My thumbs are with my fingers. They don't leave. We can't catch water like this. It's not going to work. Well, it will work. It just won't be as effective. So <laughs> thumbs in. Uh, one of my favorite spins. So we often think as cup grip is like a very, very advanced move. Uh, or advanced grip, but there are some spins that you can do to practice this grip. One of my favorites is cup grip. Hands go about head level. One leg reaches out, slowly bend the inside leg. You slowly pivot on the inside foot. Wrap that inside knee around. And then you can swing out onto the floor. All right, it's a fun little low flow move that helps you start to understand cup grip. For cup grip, it's really nice because you can really, really use your bicep. We talk about leg cup grip, handsprings, cup grip deadlifts. It puts my shoulder in a really healthy, optimal position to use all of my muscles versus let's say twisted. All right, I've instantly taken out bicep. Yeah, cup is, it's a strong grip. Another nice one, uh, for learning cup grip is the princess spin. So same thing, you cup grip your hands. Toes are close to the base. Kind of stick your booty out, okay? I'm gonna rotate my knees a little bit and my feet to the right, hips to the left. And I'm gonna spin all the way down to the floor. Again, from here, lots of different things you can do. Fan kick out and stand up, all right? Another very common one for cup grip is shoulder mount, okay? Very classic move require, requiring cup, elbows in, pulling down. A lot of biceps, okay? All right, our last one that we'll talk about today is either your favorite or your least favorite, elbow grip. Elbow grip. So, the lovely elbow grip. Again, actually can be very strong. A good way to practice elbow grip is with some spins, okay? Spins that you're already comfortable with. Uh, typically in spins for if you have your top arm and elbow, um, your bottom hand is going to be in that bottom of your split grip, finger facing down and pressing away. Okay, it's really important to have a strong bracket here, pressing away from the pole so that our elbow, we can use it, right? We have to be able to feel this motion going out, All right, If we're just going straight down, it's very difficult to hold. So we have to have this outwards feeling. Squeeze your bicep, all right? When your bicep's not squeezed, your arm is typically smaller. When you squeeze your bicep, you have more to hold, to hold you onto the pole, yes? So let's just start with chair. I'm gonna walk, I'm gonna press down into the pole with my bottom hand. Lift the knees up. The elbow can be really sensitive. So it can be good to just start with little moves like that. Maybe you don't even pick your feet off. Maybe you just try to find a millisecond of air time. All right, if we're taking this up a notch for a level, um, we have Aisha, elbow boomerang. Okay, Aisha, classic elbow grip. Same thing, this is why we have to get our hips away from the pole. We have to create space to hold ourselves. Okay, if I'm trying to do Aisha with my hips close, I'm just gonna slide, slide, slide. 
a favorite for many intermediate advanced students is the devil's elbow. Okay, we can get into that. I have a whole separate tutorial for that, but I'll at least uh, demonstrate the entry for the purpose of this video. So we have our elbow. Breath and devil's elbow. The back side of your body is really important for that. So if you have a shirt on like me, hike it up. <laughs> All right. So your homework now is to take some of these moves um, that we've talked about today and put together a combo of four. So I will demonstrate a combo for uh, beginner level students, and then I'll also demonstrate a combo for uh, my intermediate advanced students. All right, take a second, clean down your pole, get some water, and then we'll do the combos. All right, so for this combo, we're going to have front hook, cradle, I forgot, front hook, cradle, embrace, which is not what we talked about, but it's elbow, and the floor spin with the cup grip. Okay, so front hook, cradle, embrace the roosters, <laughs> and swivel to the floor. All right, let's begin. So first we'll have our baseball grip in half bracket for our front hook. So front hook, take a second here, hips forward, push with the top arm pole. You can come out through a chair, step, step. You're gonna rotate your hand, or uh, have them switch positions for your full bracket. Bring the inner thigh up and forward into cradle. Again, feet down, walk, walk, embrace. You're gonna do one climb up. Wrap one elbow high. Wrap the other elbow a little bit below. Let yourself sink and release the legs. Slowly come down to the floor. Cup grip your hands. Outside leg out and away. And down to the floor. All right. So there's your four grip combo. Practice it on both sides. Put a nice song on. All right, add your own flair to it. For my intermediate advanced, we're gonna do a um, chair elbow spin, shoulder mount, forearm butterfly, and Aisha. So we have our elbow grip, yes, for chair. Strong grip on the top arm, push away with the bottom arm. We'll do a walk and chair. You're gonna step, step. Let's add a pirouette in here to get to our shoulder mount grip. So this is cup and up. <sighs> Hook the legs, slide down, bottom hand to form, top hand to baseball, form grip butterfly. Bring the legs back together, bottom hand down, push kind of like a caterpillar and your Aisha with a split grip. Down to the floor. If you wanna challenge yourself with a handstand and back down. All right, guys, those combos aren't meant to exhaust you, just something to practice the different mechanics that we've talked about today. All right, let me know what questions you have. Um, I hope you found this helpful. Again, foundational for my beginners um, and intermediate advanced refresher for you guys. Okay, they're grips that you've done before. It's just a little, hey, make sure you're doing this when you do this grip. Um, and things that if you're struggling with the move, it's the first thing you can think about. Okay, what grip is this move in? 
Am I pushing? Am I pulling? Am I squeezing? Am I pushing through my shoulder? Okay. Again, questions, I'm here for you and I hope you enjoy. I'll see you soon.